How you wanna look stylish? How you wanna look stylish? She got that clutch in her hands, she got a bag and some bands. Shante slays, outfits a 10, fashion therapy. Where do we begin? Face on feet, hair on fleek. She's styling up the set. Don't you forget Shante Slays Outfits a 10 Fashion therapy Where do we begin? Face on beat Hair on fleek She's styling up the set Don't you forget Ladies and gentle thoughts, I'm back. What it do, baby? I am giving y'all all the quarantine realness that I have to give. Because, baby, it has been rough in these here Corona streets, okay? I'm sick of it. But, to be honest, I like the rest. The only thing is I don't have options. Don't tell me what to do. You're going to tell me I can't go outside. I need options. But because I don't, I've been sitting my black ass right here in the house looking crazy. But I got some new hair. Ooh. Ooh. How y'all like this new quarantine hair? Baby, she's easy, breezy, beautiful quarantine girl. I got that from Caribbean Cowgirl. I love her. Okay, so look at this. Is that not? Oh, y'all, it's so rough. But it's cool. So, I have some exciting news to share. I have some new thrifted finds to share. Not that I've been to the thrift store lately. But, I have some stuff that I didn't show you guys on the last haul that I'm going to show you on this one. So, let's jump right in. Polka dot goodness, God. Look at that. Would you look at that beautiful number? Mm-hmm. She's missing a whole ass button, but I don't care. The button is actually in there. But I freaking love this. It's good. It's really, really good. I feel like it's old design and women piece of jacket. Like it came with a skirt too. But that is it. Alright. Next is this dress. I don't think the hanger is going to do it much justice. But for one, I love the color. It's like a salamander get into it fashion student i don't just talk about the fashions i got a degree salamander dress and then it's like it comes up on the shoulder here and then we got a little oh baby she let me tell you something when outside open back up you just, when outside open back up i don't know if i want to be wholesome or a hoe I don't know if I want to be a thought or I don't know. I don't know who I want to be, but outside is going to get this work. Do you hear me? And I done got snatched. You see? Okay. But I lost my booty a little bit. So that sucks. We're going to act like that didn't fall and keep it right moving. Okay. So next is this sweater. I freaking love this sweater. Do you hear me? I pulled it. For a photo shoot, it did not get used, and I ended up keeping it for myself. But look at the detail. Like, get it. Y'all, Deja about to fall down the steps, and I'm not going to be responsible. I swear I'm not going to be responsible. I'm not. I'm... Okay, look. It's sheer. The sleeves are sheer. It's got the, oh. And then look at the back. Just beaded sequin goodness. Oh, it's so right. It's so right. This is just a regular little animal print sundress. N My mama used to say nothing to write home about, but I like it. I feel like it'll be really cute in the summertime. So y'all know animal print is basically a neutral and it's my favorite color. So I love it. This dress, I'm showing up to somebody's nuptials or a picnic or engagement or Kroger. Because it's, you see how low it's cut right there? 
baby these itty bitties is gonna be pushed up to the sky high high and i'm gonna be in this dress okay i really like this one it is a vintage piece but how cute is it i'm obsessed with pussy bows that's what these are called i'm not being vulgar for those of you who are new to my channel i do curse the fuck no i'm just kidding no but i do curse so i'm sorry not really that sorry because it's just a part of who i am and that's what keep you guys coming back right so it's got the pussy bow tied these really cute silver buttons and then the pleating detail on the bottom it's a um really pretty blue animal print i really really like this dress you didn't get my feet did you oh, okay you do not want to see these quarantine toes oh they awful this this is our moment of silence piece guys this I know it was the blood. It was the blood that got me this. Thrift Jesus wanted me to. It's a jump suit. Okay? Jump suit. It's C. Quinn. Wide. Oh. When I tell y'all outside, I'm gonna get this work. Outside is gonna get this work. <laughs> like, I, this is so freaking gorgeous like I'm obsessed with this I have no clue where I'm wearing it to but I'm wearing it somewhere if you follow me on Instagram then you have already seen this this is a little black dress with Ankara sleep oh. hmm. all right sleeves in the sleeves all right The sleeves are like huge and oversized. I really, really like this dress. It fits well. And then this sweater, which I think is so cute. I love the sleeve detail on that. Look at that. Look at that. Get into that. We got a little braided detail, a little fringe, a little tribal. She's cute, right? Now this is one of those items. I don't know why I bought it. But it was cute and I feel like I can make some magic happen in it but thus far it's just collecting dust. I love this color green I'm not really fond of the bottom you see the bottom has this um, gold should we call her a band what are we calling her Deja I guess a band going around the bottom but she's cute I'm just not it makes me it's very Indian reminiscent I think Reminiscent of like the Indian culture. Would you agree? Or am I just okay? Did you get you didn't get my toes? Did you? Okay, I'm sorry. They're just so bad, guys. All right. And this skirt, which I love. What did I say? What's the motto for this video? Outside is gonna get that what? Work. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look, look at this split. I'm telling you, just call me Duncan Hines, baby, because all my cakes is going to be out. <laughs> I am wretched. I just realized that I might be. <sighs> my sister calls it culturally wretched. We'll go with that. All right. So this is so cute. This is going to be a little real cute beach number. I love, love, love this. It was somebody's brand, too. I can't remember who. Um, well, I guess that's not important. I thought it was like, what? I thought it was like ASOS or something. Now, this is my second favorite item on the rack. Y'all know how I feel about black and white. Oh, when I found this, it was, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus gave me this duster. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, if you ever thought that he wasn't real, this here dust to let you know that he is. And it's long, so it's going to drag the ground and give me all the dramatics that I desire. Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, he is so mindful of his people. I tell you what. 
And then we have this two-piece suit, which I think is so super cute. I already know how I'm styling. And if outside opens back up for fashion week, guess who will be wearing this for fashion week? The skirt don't fit though. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. You know how, how it's too small and you gotta pull it like all the way up here to get the button? Yeah, that's what happens with this. So I might have to have it taken out. Um, but it's a two-piece skirt and blouse. I just feel so sophisticated when I wear a blouse. And it also has the pussy bow. It's an old nasty piece of Liz Claiborne. Y'all remember Liz Claiborne? So this is, I think it's so dope. If you follow me, then you know that I love, love, love polka dots. And um, yeah. Last but not least, probably my third favorite item on the rack because I have been looking for a yellow pantsuit for ever and ever and ever. And I did not want to pay retail price because I found one on Zara and they wanted an arm, a leg, um, an eye, three pinkies, and I only have two. Two toes, four pumps. You know what a pump is? One, two, hunching, guys. It's called hunching. They wanted all of that for the suit and I was not willing to give it to them. So, da 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 da. Patience is a virtue. I found this yellow two piece wide leg pan set. And I am obsessed, okay? Okay. So I really, I feel like that was really quick. That was quick, huh, Deja? So let me give you guys updates on what's happening in my life. Um, I'm sitting at the house every day, the end. Fuck, y'all thought it was gonna be a real story? <laughs> no, but seriously, I have written a book. Fingers. And so many of you come in to my comment section and um, you ask me, how do I find such great things when I thrift? Um, where do you go thrifting? Um, when is the best time to thrift? Um, what should or should you not thrift? So every Thursday, I would do Thrift Tip Thursday on my Instagram. If you're not following, that is your fault. Um... But I decided that I would take all of my knowledge of thrifting and put it into a book. So many of you know that I have been thrifting since I was in the seventh grade. That's over 25 years of thrifting experience. And um, it's here and it's done and it's beautiful and it makes me so happy. Fuck your retail. The art of thrifting dope shit. Um, it's thrift tips, thrift stories, and more. And it's written by me and I'm so excited. Okay, so when I say thrift stories, a lot of people want to like, what thrift stories? I'm talking about the first time I actually went thrifting, which I absolutely hated. I was in the store crying. My mom did not give one damn. She... No, 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 no. I'm a... Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm talking about that. I'm talking about um, how I almost became a hoarder because thrifting was so bad and, you know, Jesus didn't die on the cross for me to be a hoarder. But I was like racking up on the dollar stuff and the 75 cent stuff that I had no intentions on wearing or I thought I could make fly. No, I'm talking about how when I lost my father to murder a few years ago, how thrifting that pulled me out of my very, very, very dark space. So I'm giving you that. I'm giving you all of my thrift tips. I'm giving you, um, it's just good. Y'all, it's so good. And then there's a place for you to set your own thrift budget, your thrift goals. Um, thrift secrets. I'm so obsessed. So you guys grab your copy of Fuck Your Retail. Because you don't have to shop at the mall to be fly. Everybody at the mall look the same. Come on, guys. Ooh.